Hey, what's happening? What's going on, everybody? My name is Matt, in case you don't know who I am. Welcome to this YouTube channel where we talk about day trading futures. But today's video is a little different because we're not day trading. We are swinging for the fences. So in trading talk, swinging means holding something from one day to the next for multiple days, typically. Day trading means you are buying and closing in the same day. Well, today I am swing trading a position. So as you can see here, right where my mouse is. I am short one contract on the micro NASDAQ, so the micro NQ, MNQ is the ticker. Got in at 9321.75 earlier today. Here's my actual entry, right where this arrow is. So if I go to show fills, I go take it off. There it is, so I got short at about 10 o'clock central time this morning. And I have held it through this drop. And basically what's on the table is I'm up 500 bucks on this trade today. If I closed it, I would be an additional $500 on top of the roughly $1,400 that I've already made. Um, I think it's like 1350 after commissions. But I'm willing to risk some money here because I think that we have a lot farther to fall. So I'm going to go over that this trade and kind of talk through what I'm seeing between the ES and the NASDAQ. So. As you can see, we are just, it's still just dumping right now. We're almost, we're getting close to breaking 9K here on the NASDAQ. Um, we're just, our PL is just ticking nicely right now, right? So, crazy dump um, all day. 200 points from like 2 o'clock to th like an hour and a half. It's been like a 200 point dump or something. So, when I go to the daily, well, first off, I entered this trade because it was, it was the top of yesterday's value. Um, and it was the top of today's value. It just was a low risk trade, uh, meaning a lot of downside potential in my opinion and a decent spot to start, to just like start getting into a trade. So now I'm looking at the daily chart here. Um, I can see that we're basically getting close to a nice little bounce, uh, like a resistance point, particularly potentially up here at 9,300, but this is close to all time highs, pretty good spot for it to roll over in my opinion. But what was more interesting going into this trade was I saw one, two, three, four, five, six green candles in a row, meaning the past six trading days have all been green. Typically, that doesn't happen. We get some form of a pullback. Um, when there's lots of red days, we go green and we get a nice little pullback. Same idea. We have a lot of green. We get a nice couple of red days of pullback. So my idea was I'll open a short and I'll put a little bit of like risk at play since this is only one micro this is one fifty dollar um trade during the actual like margin hours 50 bucks turns into 520 pretty nice um and because it's a tenth of the size of a mini contract a nasdaq normal nasdaq contract um i'm able to basically give it a little bit of room right so i had to stop above uh overnight high at 50 so I was risking 30 points, which is like 60 bucks or whatever on uh, the NASDAQ. Um, but I was willing to risk that because I saw the downside potential. So now what I'm looking at here, we've already cracked this. What I'm looking at is another test here at like 8,900. And if we break this, let's go test 8,640. If we break 8,640, I think we are going down, down, down. And I would love, love, love to keep this entry at 9,321 into breaking this trend up right that would be crazy so i'll hold this contract as long as i can um basically catching the top like knife catching the top essentially um and hopefully we can yeah hold it for several days or weeks or months and uh if we break this trend right this is kind of the big this little bubble right here is the big area of interest to me between 8660 and 8500. Um, if we make if we make new lows on that, yeah, I'll be up like five or six hundred, seven hundred points. But what I'm more interested in is that would be the trend, the short term trend breaking, and we would be in a downward trend with my entry way up at the top, which would be sick. So, on the flip side, on the ES right now, what we're seeing is we're kind of rolling over here um, off of this rejection. If you've been watching any of my live streams, you've seen these lines up here since the start. Um, what I've been watching for, rejection of this, 
and we never made a new high off of this in fact we just dumped straight off of this resistance right here so now what i'm looking for is 90 27 um like 2780s basically if we make new lows meaning if we make new lows off of this right here new lows to the downside similar to new lows right here um, this short trend this upturn like this upward trend is now broken and we'd be in a downward trend um, and the markets would be back to being correlated and we would be in a great spot on our nasdaq short so that's kind of the overall general play um, that's my thought process behind why i'm in this position why i'm holding it why i'm taking on a little more risk by holding overnight which i typically don't do but it's because i'm in a great entry i feel and I'm willing to let it kind of play back and forth a little bit here before making new lows, hopefully. So we'll see how it plays out. If you want to see how it plays out, join me on the stream live tomorrow and every other day this week and next week. You know the drill. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in these types of trades, um, I called this specific trade out in my stream. So make sure you join, subscribe so that you know when I'm going live. Also, like this video. Um, and if you are interested in like a top step a uh, swing account where you can take this exact same trade um, without risking your own money. Look at Top Step, link down below, and you can get 20% off there. Um, I will see you in the next video. Hope you have a great rest of the day. Peace.